Cassius Clay in white. George Chavallo in black. The way this fight figured, Kevin, everyone thought that Clay would come out and dance around just as he's doing right now. It figured to be the challenger, George Chavallo, uh, chasing after Clay, and Clay using his brilliant boxing style in order uh, to keep the challenger from hitting him. Great footwork by Clay. Well, actually, Clay is reputed to be one of the fastest heavyweight champions in the history of boxing. And uh, everything he does in this fight would make you endorse that uh, feeling that he is one of the quickest men who ever champion is putting those punches in four, five, six at a time. Chavalo staying with that body attack. It appears as instead of Clay getting tired, he's getting stronger, throwing in more punches. The champion is truly a tremendous fighter. And to uh, repeat, uh, I hate to keep repeating this, I've never seen him put together punches like this before. Held a title. Many of the experts say, look at this, he's holding He's exposing himself to Chevalo's punch. And Clay was telling him to hit harder. At first row, I could hear it. Clay was saying, hit harder, hit harder. He must have hit him 12 times with that right. Clay took round 14, Kevin. And here in the last round, everyone in Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens were screaming for George Chevalo to end it. One thing for sure, George Chavallo has set a blistering pace, and the Cassius Clay has stayed right up with him. Who would have seen these two men would still be at it, fighting at a great pace like this? And Cassius Clay wins a hard-fought, action-packed championship fight over the very courageous, rugged Canadian George Chavallo.